Hey, what's going on people, Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your lag, crashing, stuttering in Minecraft 1.19. Once again, a lot of you guys have been asking me to make this video and I'm back home with the topic. So in this video, I'm going to be covering each of your problems. So make sure to watch this video till the end. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below. So I'm going to be replying to each one of you and helping you guys individually. And with all that said, let's roll the intro. Alright, so once you are on your desktop, you have to create a restore point, that is our step number one. And we make a restore point to make sure our PC is safe from any kind of threats. For that, simply press the Windows key and then search for create a restore point. Once you are over here, look up for local disk C or any drive it says system, then simply click on create and name it Minecraft. Then simply click on create. Once it is done, simply click on close and then close everything. Step number two is downloading T-Launcher from the web. I'm going to be leaving a link to that in the description below. Just download T-Launcher and then open it up and you will be in an application similar to this. Once you open up T-Launcher, you have to sign into your Minecraft account. And once it's done, you have to install Fabric 1.19.2 from this list over here. So once you have installed Fabric 1.19.2 over here, go to this settings gear and then go over to settings. In this Minecraft setting, you will find something called memory allocation and there will be a slider right ahead of it. You have to scroll it all the way to the second last option. For me, it's going to be 13136. It can be different for you, so just slide it to the second last option. And once you're over here, simply click on save. I'm going to take a while and introduce you guys to Aesis Partition Master. It is an all-in-one partition master and manager designed for individual users. It has tons of features that can help you guys with your windows. Aesis Partition Master offers you to migrate OS, allocate your hard disks according to you. It has a ton of features that you can use to get best out of your windows. For an example, I have a little unallocated space in which I cannot allocate to my C drive because it is on the left side of the drive so using es partition master i can simply do it by right clicking on it and click on extend or shrink then i can shrink it all the way to the left side and my new partition size is 445 gb as you guys can see i can save 5 gb over here simply click on ok and that is going to execute one task over here now i will simply click on this execute task and voila it is done it also has a ton of features like migrating os partition recovery and tools like system optimization data recovery app migration and a lot more you can check out Aesis Partition Master for free on their website. Links are in the description below. Now, minimize the T-Launcher and you have to download this Minecraft 1.19 FPS pack. I'll be leaving a link to this in the description below. Simply install and open it up and you will find in two folders and a clean temporary files, batch file. Now open up the mods folder and you will find Sodium Fabric MC mod right over here. Simply copy it, come back to T-Launcher, go to this files option over here and then go into the mods folder and paste it over here i've already done it for myself so simply close this folder go back into the minecraft fps pack go to the ram optimization folder and you will find a lot of presets in here simply search for the system information on your computer and look up for the install physical memory on your pc for me it's going to be 16 gb so i'm going to be running the 16 gb ram registry file it can be different for you so i've left a lot of presets over here simply run the required preset for you now once you're done with that simply go to the last option that is the clean temporary files batch file simply right click and run it as administrator this will ask you to delete all of the temporary files that are not required by your computer simply press any key to continue and that's going to be deleting all of the unwanted files on your pc once you're done with that simply close and click ok now once again all of this is completely safe for your computer so feel free to do everything so now that you have shifted your mods into the mods folder, you have to come back to T-Launcher and then simply click on enter the game. Now once you are in your world, simply press the escape button, go to options and then the video settings in game. And over here, since you have installed the latest version of Sodium, you will see your whole video options has been changed. And this is the most optimal and most simple than the other version of the settings. Over here, you will find your general quality performance and advanced tab. And over here, what I recommend is to put your render distance to somewhere around 10 chunks. Then your simulation should be set to five. Brightness, it's a personal preference. GUI scale should be set to zero. Doesn't really matter a lot. 
Then we have full screen and I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off if you want to get better FPS but you can turn it on as a personal preference so yeah I like it full screen on but if you guys want to get better FPS you can go with full screen off. Then VSync, I highly recommend you guys to turn this thing off because it's gonna be saving a lot of FPS. Then we have the view bobbing and auto save indicator. Just make sure that both of them are on and then simply click on apply. Then go to the second tab, which is the quality section. And in the graphics section, just make sure to use fast graphics, fast clouds, fast weather, fast leaf quality, minimum particles, turn off smooth lighting, biome blend should be set to 2, entity distance should be set to 100, entity shadows and vignette should be set on. Minimap level is just a personal preference but if you guys set it to low you can get more FPS. Then simply click on apply and that's gonna reload Minecraft once again. Now once you're in game go to the performance section and in the chunk updates just leave your chunk update uh, threads to zero. It's gonna be automatically selecting the threads your PC is using to build chunks. I personally go with zero, then always defer chunk updates. Make sure to turn this thing to off. Then both of these options turned on. Use entity culling turned off. Use particle culling turned on. Animate only visible texture should be turned on. Once you're done with that, simply click on done. And now go back to your game, press F3 and look at the amount of FPS you're getting in game. So guys, that was it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below. It seriously helps me out growing my channel. Also, don't forget to leave your specs in the comments below. So I'm going to be replying to each one of you individually. We'll meet you guys in the next video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.